And you're also asking the person to make a commitment, not to you, but to themselves, to change some aspect of their life, business, professional. <laughs> Hello, I'm here again with Wayne Berry, Australia's top gun sales coach. Welcome back, Wayne. Thank you. Hey, when we last had a discussion, we talked about the definition of sales and sales being helping people, mm. from your definition. Mm. Uh, and you mentioned that salespeople that are the top salespeople, the, the really top performers, mm. are people that do that. Mm. But I know you've got a lot of other things that so, the top salespeople actually do. I'd mm. like to mm. share some of that with our audience. Okay. I often get the question, that, like, what's the secret to success in sales? Well, frankly, there is no secret. If you really look at what it is that the high-performing salespeople do, and we have, we did a, a really massive study back in 1990 and 1991, and we've conducted this study many times since, we've determined that there are basically a top 10. There's 10 key characteristics of all high-performing salespeople. They're good at 10 things. Now, many salespeople believe that you've got to be good at hundreds of things. Well, no. There are just 10 key areas which you do very, very good in each of those areas. It makes the world of difference. And, and I mentioned if you break, break that down to just even three or four, you'd, you'd, you'd be a good salesperson. Well, number one is, of course, attitude. As attitude. You, as you no doubt know, attitude is 80% of our success in life. It, it, it comes down to attitude. And that is an attitude of helpfulness, genuine caring, sincerity. You know, that, that is all attitude. And, of course, motivation, getting out of bed, you know, going out and believing that you're really helping people. That's all attitude. And then the other key areas uh, would include things like uh, prospecting, the ability to get on the phone. I call it make your own luck. Yeah. Call people, regardless of whether the lead has come to you or whether you're just targeting and, and make your own luck, get on the phone, know how to do that. Know how to conduct With the intent you're going to oh, absolutely. create value for those people, you're going to help. help. Yeah. Absolutely help them. And if you don't have that attitude, it's going to come through. And um, most people don't prospect well because they fear rejection mm -hmm. and it's because they're going about it the wrong way. Um, and then the ability to sit down with somebody face to face, ask them the appropriate questions to build trust, build rapport, identify their needs, both their logical needs and their psychological or right brain emotional needs, and then make a recommendation, if appropriate, to fulfill those needs. Now, th th that's a whole lot of words, but there's a real skill in being able to ask questions. In fact, if you ask the right questions, the person will sell themselves, and of course, uh, all they're really doing is, uh, when you ask the appropriate question, they'll talk about a benefit that they want. And if that's mm -hmm. a benefit of something you can provide, it's very, very easy. And you know if you've done it well, because at the end of that, that initial interview, if you've asked the right questions, they'll say, John, what do you think I should do? Mm. And now they're ready to hear a presentation. And that's the next key skill, being able to present a solution in such a way that it, it, it um, taps into the person's psychological needs, their, their right brain emotional needs, as well as their logical needs. Then, of course, being able to know how to ask for a commitment. Now, I don't call it closing the sale. It's asking for a commitment. Closing is like you close something. It's, it's I hate the word. Oh, I tell you, you oh. know, it put, it's con again, it talked Negative. about bad connotations in sales. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to close this guy. No, you're not. Yeah. You're going to work out how you're going to help the guy mm -hmm. and ask the guy if you're ready now to be helped. Mm -hmm. So you're asking the person, uh, you're confirming the sale or confirming the next step of the sale. And you're also asking the person to make a commitment, not to you, but to themselves, to change some aspect of their life, business, professional. I like that perspective. Mm. Yeah, mm. not to not to me. No, no. commitment to, to themselves. Facil you just facilitate that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also important that if you believe that what you're recommending is right for the client, if you don't have them commit to themselves to improve their life, well, you're really letting them down. And if you come at it from that perspective, rather than this is something I'm trying to push you into, you never, never do that. Mm. But, you know, this is good, going to be good for you. And, you know, I suggest make this commitment to yourself to change this part of your life, do, you know, improve. Okay. Thank you very much for that, Wayne. I think uh, the audience is going to get a lot of value out of that. Thank you. I certainly hope so. Thank you.